So let's have a look at the opening shot. After that, we come to the binoculars coming across. We see the boat in the horizon up on the flying bridge. We go there. Sometimes I say to David Negron, the storyboard artist that I've worked with for the last three pictures, I say, well, I'm looking for a shot that does this, and then I want that, and David will go off. He'll bring back some drawings. And I'll say, but I said, oh, gee, well, I hadn't thought about that. Oh, right, of course. It happened yesterday. We were drawing the opening sequence of Clear and Present Danger, and he drew this shot, and I said, I didn't tell you to do that. That's great. Well, actually, why don't we open the whole thing? We'll open the film with that shot. That's great. This picture, Clear and Present Danger, is, is just a huge uh, visual effects, special effects, action picture. And the amount of storyboard work that both of us do together is just enormous. We've taken scenes and we've broken it down three or four times just to get a, a good visual uh, look of the film. About halfway through the film, you'll see a sequence uh, where Harrison Ford playing Jack Ryan, the head of the FBI and the American ambassador to Colombia, are attacked in a street of Bogota. Now, this sequence was entirely composed between myself and the storyboard artist. We actually found a location in Mexico, so I flew out with Philip, and we were down on, on the streets in the location, redesigning, replanning out the action where it was going to take place. I was doing some rough sketches there on location with Philip so that he could actually make some changes as we went along. We went through about five different scenarios, drawing the thing to see whether it looked realistic and whether it looked dramatic and how best to use the Harrison Ford character, how to place him in the greatest jeopardy. And the scriptwriter was then handed the storyboards and he wrote the script to follow. It's particularly important for action sequences, uh, sequences where you're going to marshal uh, resources uh, that are only available to you once, um, where you're going to use jet planes, tanks, uh, where you're going to blow up buildings and things like that. You've really got to place your camera in the right position, and that may entail placing it in 10 different positions in pre-production with your storyboard artist showing you what it would look like. 